The kid is left alone outside the pub. It's late at night, he is still waiting for mom and dad to come home. They have spent all the money on grog and poker machines and they chase him out, telling him to go and find food elsewhere. An auntie walks by and sees him crying and hungry and takes the kid back to his grandmother. It's not the first time this has happened. The grandmother and the kid are scared. Something has to be done about this. The family discusses what is best for the child. The child wanders around the streets all day and doesn't go to school. The parents agree they have a problem with alcohol and the child is better off with his grandmother for a while. They agree that the money from Centrelink should go to the grandmother.
The job of FACTS is to make sure children are safe from abuse and neglect. Neglect is when a child is not being fed properly and not growing up strong. Not attending school, being hit and sworn at and made to feel bad about themselves. Or not being seen by a doctor when they are sick, always dirty. All reports made to facts are assessed. There are times when they decide everything is okay. Other times, facts talk to the parents about ways to help them look after their kid better. Sometimes, when it's really bad, facts decides that children should be removed for their own protection. The fax worker explains that they have received several complaints about the kid being skinny at the hospital, sick too often, and being taken back to the drinker's camp by parents. They also know the child hasn't been at school. They ask the parents to come in to a meeting in their office to talk about putting the child in grandmother's care for a while. Vax job is to determine how safe the child is. They do this by talking to family members and people who know the child, such as teachers, nurses and community workers. They also look at school and medical records. The facts workers explain that they could have a voluntary agreement where the parents remain the legal guardians of the child. But facts makes decisions about where he lives. They decide he should live with his grandmother. The fax workers has to tell the parents how long the agreement is for and what the parents have to do to get their child back. But remember, this is still a voluntary agreement which means the parents can change their mind and change the agreement. If you are not sure you understand what the agreement means for you and your family, you should get legal advice. This family tells the facts worker they need time to see a lawyer before they decide which way to go. The lawyer explains that the voluntary agreement facts want will give the parents time to get off the grog. At the end of two months, they can either finish the agreement or extend it for another two months to give them more time. If the parents do not stick to the agreement and are still drinking and not looking after the child, facts might then decide to ask the court to order that the kid stays in the care of facts. The parents can see that they need time to get themselves sorted out and get their drinking under control. 
After talking with the lawyer, they decide to enter a volunteer agreement with facts. This agreement will mean that the kid will stay with the grandmother for two months. After getting legal help, the agreement is signed. From now on, they can't just come and take the kid away for the day whenever they want. The agreement will allow them to see their kid but there are conditions such as they can't be drunk or they have to give grandmother notice or can't rubbish her. Facts will make sure grandmother has everything she needs to take proper care of the child. They can make one-off payments for things like a bed and clothes. Fax can also help transfer the Centrelink payments. The law recognises that it's best for Aboriginal kids to stay with their family where they can grow up safe and know their culture, country and people. The parents are still drinking they still come and take the child from the grandmother. Facts keep in touch with the grandmother and parents to make sure the child is all right and that the agreement is working. But in this case, they found out that the parents are still drinking and they keep taking the child back from grandmother. Facts decide to go to court to ask that the child be placed in their care. That means the legal guardian of the child won't be the parents anymore, but the government will. Fax sends documents about court to the parents. The papers have the court date and information about what facts will be asking the court to decide. It is a good idea to talk to a lawyer so they can explain what you can do. The lawyer explains this is really serious now. Facts have tried everything they can to work with the family to make the child safe. Now the court might take the child away from the parents and they won't have a say in looking after him. The lawyer explains that the parents have some choices. First choice, they can agree to the order and the child will be placed in facts care. Second choice, they can fight against the order during a hearing in court. During the hearing, facts will have to give the court good reasons why they need to take the child into their care. They might have to back up their reasons with proof like school and clinic records. 
third choice, they can, through their lawyers, talk to facts to reach an agreement about an order that they are happier with. The parents can talk to facts about an order for a shorter period of time, perhaps four months. And they can suggest family members that might be able to look after the child while the order is in place. The parents really want to try again to stop drinking, so they ask their lawyers to talk to facts about an order for the child to live with the grandmother for another four months. The facts lawyer talks to the magistrate to give their side of the story. They explain they want an order to place the child in facts care because the child is not safe at home. The lawyer for each of the parents explained to the magistrate that the parents will agree to an order for four months, as long as the child is placed with the grandmother. The magistrate makes an order for four months. He agrees that the child can live with grandmother while the parents go to rehab. The parents arrange to do an alcohol rehab program. During the program, they talk about the reasons why they drink and learn more about the harm it does. It's not easy to stop drinking, but they keep trying because they want their child back living with them. And they want him to be strong and happy. By the end of four months, the parents have given up the grog. They went back to court with their lawyer and facts agreed to stop the order. Because they can see that the parents have changed their lifestyle and the child could now live with them safely. Their son comes back to live with them. This story has a happy ending. But for some people, the story does not end this way. If these parents had continued drinking and didn't prove that they could take proper care of their son, then after four months, facts could have asked the court to make a long-term order that the child was in need of care and not live with his parents for a very long time. In this story, when they realized they were going to lose their child for good, they got advice early and got help to overcome their problem. They left their son with grandmother while they were dealing with their alcohol problem. After a few months, when their house was safe again, the lawyer helped them talk to facts and get the child back. If you are in a situation like this and facts is involved, you should get legal advice as soon as possible. You can get legal help from anti-legal aid, carless, car flu and calls.